Well, it's recording now. Hello. We're two idiots trying to make a Michelin star recipe. Well, one and a one. half. Minutes. One and a half. I got this book for Christmas, and we're gonna make birthday. Thomas Keller roll in his grave. A gift. Because he's gonna die after he sees Ugh. what we do to this. I turned to the first page I saw, which was soup, because I wanted to make soup. Good soup. And it's not soupy. It's like a savory jello. Say the name. I don't Try know. to say the name. La this is in the soup section, but you know those like 1950s meals where they put like hot dogs and strawberries in a gelatin mold? It's like that, but Michelin rated. They put sea bugs in it. Uh, uh, canola oil, three pounds lobster bodies. Not lobster meat, lobster bodies. Chopped lobster tomatoes. Coral? Tightly packed tarragon sprigs. Oh, that loose crap around here. <laughs> Keep it tight. <laughs> Gelatin, which is obviously a soup thing. Cream friche? Creme fraiche, you Creme know fresh? that. I don't know. Didn't you study French in school? I don't school? have these letters in my alphabet. And a brunoise. Which I also had to Google. <laughs> we did a lot of Googling. <clears throat> so now, for the first time ever, I'm actually going to read the recipe. Uh, much to her dismay, I haven't done any preparation. I've asked him every day this week if he read the recipe. So first we gotta heat water. Be sure to have the correct amount of liquid. No, I'm sure, I'm sure. Soup. Simmer the stock to reduce it to the exact quantity specified. What? Read faster, <laughs> read faster. Because this soup is extraordinarily rich lobster essence. Oh no, I'm, I'm reading that wrong. What? Because this soup is extraordinarily rich, lobster essence magnified. We serve it in very small bowls or demi tasse cups, just two ounces per serving. That's how I eat soup. Filling. Shots. Heat in large rondeau? I'm gonna just use I, a Didn't pot. you take French? I'm gonna use a pot. We didn't read rondeau. I can say, where is the toilet? <laughs> burn, burn. Okay, those words I know. Braising. Well, burn. tell them the words. They don't know the words. Well, they can read. Uh, this isn't a braising pan, but it's blue. Could we use a skillet for a braising pan? Heavy, thick bottomed? Oh, we've got a lot of bodies to cook. Let's do a little bit now. Want me to turn this on? Wait. Ow! Oh! Okay. Don't do too close. Okay. This is like cooking ASMR. Where's my knife? Yeah. So instead, we just bought crab legs. All right, are these already cooked? Yeah. Oh, these are pre-cooked? Yeah. So we can take the meat out and eat the meat? Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't want to put the meat on the wood. Can you get me the plastic cutting board? I have lobster hands. I don't think this is like, it's cooked. I have lobster hands. Thank you. Ooh. 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 <laughs> so this needs, it says one and a half cups or six and a half ounces. I'm just gonna go by ounces. Bougie. I don't think that's bougie. 7.9 is close enough. Okay. Do I peel them? They're just going into stock. I'm not gonna peel them. No, I don't peel them. All right, so I'm just gonna chop. That one's for Stella. Fennel, do I use the whole thing? It, does it say how much of fennel to use? Use the butt of the fennel. I wanna use all of it. Okay. That looks like a vegetable. Button mushrooms are already sliced. We cheated. So unlike us to cut corners and improvise. So here we go. And shallots. Would you still love me if I got a buzz cut? I would still be married to you, technically. I ran out of space for, to weigh this, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. Six ounces. Sure. No, it's not. The crab garbage, the food garbage. Let's cook all our garbage. 
What a beautiful sound. Vegetables. It smells weird. Do you enjoy the smell of the beach? Uh, which part? The salty sea smell. The dead animals and stuff that wash up. All right, this says chopped tomatoes. So I'm just gonna chop tomatoes. I don't know if these vines are. It could not be that hard. Tomatoes are just part of the stock. Don't you like quarters? How much garlic? I don't know why I'm asking you, you don't know. Tomato stick in there? Four cloves of garlic. So like eight cloves of garlic, you think? Whisk the egg whites and the coral in a bowl until frothy and then stir in the ground vegetables. Oh, we need some of this for the raft. The raft. What's a raft? It's that like weird clarification thing that we need. This looks like it just washed up on the beach. It looks delicious. Do you chop the fennel or just use the fennel? It says generous one fourth cup, but then it says exact ounces. So they don't know what they're doing either. Look. She hates it. I might want to skin them. At what point do you need to add liquid to our trash soup? It says add the vermouth and water. Uh, I forgot to make sure I have the correct amount. I'm sure. <laughs> that seems uh, on brand. Onion, here you go. Thank you. And then three egg whites. I'm about to make this go whir, okay? Are you telling me? Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. It looks beautiful. And now I need to whip this into egg. Oh, we can't, we shouldn't do this yet until the stock is cold. So now we are at a holding point. Time to strain. Hey, will you hold this to make sure I don't get garbage juice everywhere? Oh, oh. Yeah, see, this could be really bad. There's some ASMR. Makes me have to pee. That's a, probably a genre. P A S P S. P S M R. P S M R. It's like if anyone is is confused about what the type personalities are. That's fine. It tastes good. It smells like soup. It smells better than it started. This is soup. Are you smushing the vegetables? Oh no. Is this how the professionals do it? Ooh, do you want a crab carrot, Stella? Oh, oh yummy. It smells phenomenal. So now we have to ha let it cool and come back tomorrow. It just has to cool. Yeah, which is gonna take like two hours. Nah, we'll throw it in the fridge. That'll cool it too quickly. That's not surf safe. You were holding a cat <laughs> above the pot. Shh. See you in 10 minutes. So the next step is build the clarification raft. I think it's just food that filters other food. I'm not sure what is happening. All the stuff we food processed earlier, we just but then put it in the in the stock. It says cut a one to two inch breather hole on the side of the raft, which I'm assuming I'll know what that means once I start doing it, but I have no idea now. The clarification is simmer for one hour. All right, so Daniel will come back and we'll do that. Paula, we're back. Tell them what happened while we were gone. Well, we have a very tall dog and I put the soup set on the counter to cool in an ice bath and a giant dog that lives in this house decided to treat herself. It must be pretty good because she got about half of it. Are we still going to use it? Obviously, yeah. A lot more than that would have to happen for this to not be usable after all the effort we put into it. <laughs> this is as much of an abomination as I anticipated this being when we set out. This is, it's not an abomination yet. <laughs> oh wait, shoot, is it supposed to be the whole egg or just the white? Just the white. 
Oh, isn't there like a trick for that? Uh, you can use, you a spoon. use your hands. No, you can use your hands. Oh, well, there you go. What a trick. Is this appetizing for y'all to watch? Oh, and I need a fourth cup of the coral. Okay. Is it pronounced coral or corral? It calls for lobster coral, which is basically lobster eggs. Surprised we didn't get the ingredients. I don't know what this is, but it's white fish. Similar. We do not have a fourth a cup. That's fine. We don't even have the right row. So who cares? You know, if this doesn't work out, I'm leaving a review on all recipes <laughs> saying how much I changed it and how much it sucks. <laughs> it says whisk until foamy, and it's getting foamy. We've done something correct. Stir in the ground vegetables. How much of the ground vegetables? All of, all of it, because I, I measured that, I forgot. Remove and discard any fat from the top of the stock, then place it in a heavy pot. It's not heavy, well is it heavy? It's pretty heavy. Um, it's pretty strong, but it's heavy. Remove and discard any fat from the top of the stock. Finally grind the fennel, carrots, and onion, done, in a food processor, done. Whisk the egg whites and the coral in a bowl until frothy, done. Stir in the vegetables, done. Then whisk the vegetable into the cold stock, place the pot over low heat, and stir constantly with a wooden spoon. As the liquid begins to simmer, a raft will form over the stock. I don't know how to tell where the fat... I feel like the dog probably got the fat. Oh, that's true, she did this for us, all right. There is dog hair! Just yeah, just pour it in the cold, pull, it's cold, pour it in there. Oh, get the chunk out. Stir constantly until it reaches 128. Now this is television. As the liquid begins to simmer, a raft will form over the stock. Cut a one to two inch breather hole in the side of the raft. You'll be able to see the movement of the simmering stock through the hole. The raft acts as a filter to clarify the stock. The liquid may simmer up through the raft in a few spots, but it should never be at a full boil. It could break the clarification raft and cloud the consomme. I have a feeling we're going to be eating clouded consomme. It's, it's either your face or the bowl. You can't get both. Mm -hmm. The soup is going to give me some really good quads. We're at 102.4 degrees for those who um, are taking notes. Are taking notes. <laughs> we started this six months ago. All right, what are we going for? 120. 128. 128. I guess it is the egg whites, and that's why I'm having to stir constantly so they don't set before it. Mm. So we don't have scrambled eggs? Yeah. Bubbles are happening. So we just need it to stay there for an hour. Oh my gosh. Set a timer. Oh my gosh. I want to get ready to cut this raft. It's forming. It is? Ow. It hasn't fully formed yet. You needed some patience. No. Twice he tried to tell me that we could do this step with room temperature stock even though the recipe explicitly says cold on two separate occasions he came into the room and was like let's go and i'm like it needs to be cold and he's like mm, no it doesn't then he goes and checks the book he's like okay yeah it says cold and like 20 minutes later he comes back and he's like all right let's go and i'm like it says cold and he's like eh, room temperature is fine no cold it would be terrible not to do something that the book says to do i feel like some things like the raft there is a science at work that needs to be adhered to the view from back there is riveting It's been an hour. Our raft looks rafty. So now we have to drain it. We'll see how this goes. Oh no. It really is just like a giant crab omelet sitting on top of this. Someone paying very close attention. Honestly, most of this is just straining liquid with hour breaks in between. This better be the best thing I've ever tasted. Oh, oh, that was almost bad. All this is just to make the jelly clear, and I don't think I care. Gross. All right, I'll be back here when I'm 70. All right, this is the last step for the evening. We've been doing this for five hours. I think the last step that we're gonna do tonight is put it in a container, put the gelatin in it, and then let it sit in the fridge until the morning. Why don't you put it in something like this so at least it's like a different shape? What do you mean? Well, isn't, gonna, isn't it gonna firm up? Yeah. So it'll firm up in a shape instead of in a... Shape? <laughs> all right, so after all that we started with, here is what remains. <laughs> Half of it's in a dog's belly. All right, let's use that one. 
It I don't know. got wet, but not a lot. I don't know how much. Wait, look it up, look it up. Remember you looked it up? Well, this, okay, so this calls for, I'm sure, we should have one quart left, and we have half of that. Four sheets per quart, and we have one half a quart. Yeah. So two, sh two packets. Math. Pa pow. <laughs> Go, 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 go! We did it! Good night! All right. Hello! Welcome to... Day two. Mmm, day two. Mmm, day two. Look how appetizing. Ooh, Michelin rated. Delicious. <laughs> if we had done this properly. And a dog didn't eat half of it. And a dog didn't eat half of it. When we called to get the price of lobster, it was like $25 a lobster. But if we had had like 13 lobsters at $25 a piece, I'm not going to do the math because I'm dumb at math. But it would have been extremely Wait, what expensive. Is it? I'm going to do it real quick. 25 times 13 is? 325. That's freaking expensive. Which I guess for like a restaurant makes sense. They have all that stuff on hand. They could use the lobster for whatever. But this is why we cut corners. So I'm just going to try and make a brunoise. It calls for radishes. Do we not have radishes? No, I didn't read that until later. So I'm going to substitute that with celery. Okay. Like not at all similar flavor profiles, but... but pretty much the same. Okay. So what is a brunoise? Tell me what you've learned. Uh, it's just vegetables that are blanched. That's it. Or is it supposed to be big like that? That's what she said. Look at those knife skills. Look how fast I am. I'm trying to make them even. I can go fast or I can make it look good. I can't do both. And perfect. This is just a garnish. Oh. Oh. For texture, because everything else is. Gelatin. Jello. Everything else is jello. This is what you do. You cook and I'll just drink wine. Deal. So now that we are approaching the end of this recipe, how do you think it's going to taste? I am trying to keep no expectations, just enjoy it. Okay. Because if I expect it to taste like two days worth of work, it's not going to taste like that. <laughs> It'll be the best crab jello I've ever made. I found this, so I'm going to put the vegetables on this thing and then dip them. You could just put them straight in to blanch them. That's too much. I'm going to do two, two batches. We've got our ice bath because it requires that okay. to stop the blanching. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not a well thought plan. Uh -oh. Just drop them in there. Nope, I'll do this. Watch. I also don't think it's like hot enough. It's hot enough. Yeah, it is. We're blanching at a light simmer to get more <laughs> this flavor. This is not how you blanch. I'm not a golden girl, I don't know. The next recipe, we should just make hot dogs. Okay, the next step is to break this up with a spoon. Mmm. <laughs> Disgusting. Delicious. That just is a cube of jello. <laughs> this is like something a lunch lady would serve. Oh no, oh no. All right, I'm just gonna scoop it. This isn't working. That's fine. I'm not as good as Listen, it. we're not, perfection has not been the name of the game from literally the jump, so. We'll just make it look like a dessert. I'm going to sprinkle my vegetables. Yeah. Our little veggie sprinkles on our seafood jello shot. Here, try to get a, a glamour shot of that. It's yeah, about as glamorous <laughs> as it'll get. So this is the source material. This is the inspo. Which is it on a spoon. It's so on it's a spoon, to... yeah. And then... Wow. Ta-da. I don't know. I feel like we maybe used too much gelatin because ours was, was like extremely set. Well, shall we? Why don't we use a, use a pretty spoon? Okay, yeah, this yeah. one deserves it. It deserves a pretty spoon. Oh my gosh, I'm so... I'm gonna, okay. Uh, Salute. God help us. Fresh is doing a lot for it. So I'm just gonna try a little chunk of this seafood jello. It tastes like a boiled egg. It tastes like seafood jello. Like I know we, that's a joke, but that is just how it tastes. Oh no. <laughs> Here, 
here's the thing, we didn't do the recipe entirely correctly. No. I assume this is exactly what you'd get if you went to the French Laundry. I do think Ugh. it isn't helped by this. I think we used too much gelatin because it is very stiff. It is like it's like a jello. Jello. Whereas in the photo, you could tell it was more like broken up, probably yeah. a lot softer. I don't know where we went wrong. <laughs> I mean, crab, lobster, same situation. I don't think that made made a difference. I feel like there are some chefs that are just groaning at that statement. Crab, lobster, it's all the same. <laughs> We bugs. never, we never claimed to be professionals. The creme fraiche. I don't know if I can eat another. Bite. I'm not doing it. But the creme fraiche with a little, with a little blanched veg veggie. I hope you all found this. Lightning. I hope you found this. I hope you found this. This was a waste of two days. It was not. It was fun. I, I think if done properly. It's probably delectable. We cut a lot of corners. We do not have the expertise. And where's behind, the salt? A, where's the salt? But also I want to question the thought process behind seafood jello. Because no matter what you call this, it's seafood jello. It's disgusting. <laughs> Subscribe, we might do something else. Good night.